Hello guys, it's WeatherTZK and today I'm going to be doing a Killing Floor 2 tier list. I actually haven't done this in a while, so I thought, you know, I'd go back to Killing Floor 2, do a few tier lists. And today this is going to be the Endless Modifiers tier list. So you've got stuff like Shrunken Head, the Explosion one, um, Pound and Onium. And there is even these that exclusive rounds, like the Bloats only, Husk only ones. So there's quite a few ones you can do. But yeah, starting off with the Abomination. I mean... Abomination is still a pushover in endless mode, no matter what round you're on. I'm pretty sure after round 30, it actually caps the health. I've noticed, like, I don't really get any stronger. So, I mean, the Abomination is still the Abomination. It really depends what perk you're using. If you're using a Gunsung, you could probably kill him faster. Whereas if you're a slower moving perk, like Support or Commando, you might struggle a little. But, it, to be fair, you can kill him with absolutely anything. Uh, then we got the Clot. Um, again, it's probably just manageable. They're quite easy to kill, to be honest. There's not much you can really say about them. Any perk can kill them. They're just there in the game and you can just easily kill them for dosh. Now, bloats are a little different. They do have their own exclusive round where you get, like, bloats only. But, to be fair, it is really easy because bloats aren't that fast. You can actually complete it while blindfolded. Bloats aren't very fast at all, and if you're in like a wide map, like Elysium for example, you can just snipe them off from a distance. You can literally complete a bloat only round by literally taking no damage. Crawlers, I mean, gas one is more annoying, the elite crawler, but to be fair, this one isn't too bad. I'm pretty sure Crawlers do have their own rounds, like a crawler exclusive round, but I can't exactly remember, it's been ages since I played Endless Mode. But yeah, in general, they're just really easy to kill crawlers, just like clots and stuff. Just any gun will do. And here we have another clot, I actually don't remember all of the clots names, I only remember the clot and slasher. Um, but again, this is just an easy one. They do grab you, though that's the only issue. I'm pretty sure these types of clots do grab you. So if you're trying to outrun a flesh pound and it grabs you, you'll be a bit screwed. But apart from that, it's pretty easy to kill them. You can kill them with a body or headshot. Oh, next up we have one of my favourites, um, the Edar Knot. And these guys are an absolute pain in the arse on endless or regular mode. What's even worse is the Trapper Edars. They literally just trap you, like they literally stun you so you can't move at all. And what's even worse as well, these spawn on husk only rounds. So there's like certain modifiers where you only get one certain type of Z just for the whole round. And these spawn along with husks. And it just makes it really annoying to actually try and kill these guys when they've got like a bunch of husks firing at you. They're just annoying in general. It shouldn't even exist. Next up is the Elite Crawler. Just like regular crawlers, they do basically the same thing. But they are a little bit annoyinger because they do explode and do leave gas. The thing is, if they explode near you, it does poison you. And it can be annoying trying to kill them from a distance because sometimes they do get too close. They're still pretty easy easy to kill but like when they explode near you it is annoying. Now next up we have the Flesh Pound I think. There's like three different types of Flesh Pounds. I think one of them is King Flesh Pound but I'm going to assume this one's the Flesh Pound. And to be honest they are a little bit annoying and tough especially when you get into the higher rounds in um, endless mode but again it really depends what perk you're using and it really depends what type of map you're playing if you're playing a wide open map you're basically going to be able to run away if not then you're going to get cornered absolutely everywhere gore fasts to be fair i'd put them in manageable they are a little annoying because they can actually block attacks and you try and shoot for the head they will actually try and block it with a blade so it can be annoying trying to headshot these guys but they're not too annoying, you can take about a couple of bullets to kill them, especially when you headshot them. Whereas on the gore fine, on the other hand, yeah these guys are a little bit tougher and a little bit more annoying. They've actually got two blades, which means not only can they block more, but they actually take longer to kill. Unlike the gore fast, these guys do take more bullets um, to basically get headshot, and they're a lot more... Um, tougher as well than the regular gore fasts and they also do the spinning attack as well which does a lot more damage hands i've never really had an issue with hands to be honest as long as you keep a distance away from him before he just gas grenades um his suck attack which yes that's a natural thing as long as you destroy his shields and just keep a distance he's basically fine i don't really have many issues with him and uh, now we have a husk and you know it's really a split between 
the second and third tier. If it was a husk only round on endless mode, it would be like second to top. But for regular ones, I'll just put them in average but tough. The thing is, on husk only rounds, they spawn alongside E dolls, which makes them really annoying. So I'd have to put it in borderline run killer, but it really depends on what round it is. You'll probably be at the bottom of borderline run killer. King Flesh Pound. I mean, again, this is a really easy boss. He literally dies like instantly as soon as you get his shield down. Nothing really too bad. Again, if you're in an open map, it's going to be a really easy one. To be fair, I don't really find him difficult in closed maps either. It's just average. Like most of the bosses in Killing Floor 2 are an absolute pushover anyway, so it's not too bad. Matriarch, again, I'd say it's a little bit harder just because it depends um, if you're playing with a team. Because if one person stands out of cover and the Matriarch zaps you with the electric attack, it'll basically ricochet off that player and hit other players. And on six players as well, she can be a little bit of a pain. And also she can spawn the Edars, who are also very annoying. Patriarch, I would have to honestly give a middle tier. I mean, it really depends what perk you're playing as. I don't really like commando or support as a boss perk, but if that's the only one you need to level up, then it can be a bit of a pain. If you're playing as Gunsling or Sharpshooter though, it, you can easily overpower the Patriarch, but again it just depends what perk you're playing as. Quarter Pounds, honestly you have to give them manageable, I mean they're pretty small, they're like Flesh Pounds but got like less health. Rioters, honestly I'd have to give them about, I'd say top of manageable maybe going to average because i mean they can enrage enemies with their abilities and it can be annoying to try and aim for their legs to kill them because there's so many zeds in the way if you got the g36 for swat then you can easily just gun these guys down scrakes again are pretty easy to kill actually but they can still sort of be a threat so I'd, again i put it in between average and manageable more on the manageable side, just because um, they basically take more damage to bullets, which most perks have bullets. If you're a demo, you might struggle a little bit with Scrakes, unless you um, have an RPG, you can use dud shots. And again, with Scrake only rounds, it's not actually too bad. On endless mode, they pretty much are really slow, unless you enrage them. Uh, next up is the Siren. Now, if it's the Siren only round on endless mode, I would put this a little bit higher, just because they can hurt you a lot with their sonic attacks, and there is a lot of them on the endless mode, especially when you get around only for them. However, with regular sirens, if it's just a regular round, then to be fair it's going to be about here. But because these sirens also have their own round, and they can be a bit annoying, uh, they, I would put them up about here. And next up we actually do have the slasher. Yeah, slasher again will have to go in manageable. Just like the other types of clots, they're just killable really easily. Although they do run at you really fast on Hell on Earth and they do like scratch you a lot. They're not too bad, not to mention they also have their own endless rounds as well where you can only spawn in clots and slashes. And to be fair, they're not actually that bad. Stalkers, I would actually have to say these are a little bit bit more tougher because you don't always hear where they are like they are very silent unless you're a commander you can't actually see them either and i'm pretty sure stalkers also have their own exclusive endless round so there is a lot of them you can't normally hear where they are i'm pretty sure with the stalker only rounds you also get edars alongside which i don't know why they decided to go with that but it is annoying and next up we have shrunken head um yeah, this is going to be a little bit more annoying, I think. A little bit more on the tougher side. If you're a gunslinger or sharpshooter, it's going to be a pain in the ass trying to like, headshot everything. You could go for the body, but the body is a lot stronger. So you do have to kind of go for headshots. can be a bit difficult to get headshots as well. And with inflated heads, I would say it's slightly easier. Because you, know, you can just aim for the body and kill them. But it really depends what Zed it is. If it's like a flesh pound, you can't really do that. And the head does take a lot more damage before they die. So I would sort of say this is a bit more easier than the shrunken head one but they are both kind of difficult in their own ways again it just really depends what zed you are fighting against and what perk you own uh, next up we have the explosive modifier yeah this one is an absolute pain in the arse i'm pretty sure this is mostly why i've died on endless because of the explosive one basically if you don't know zeds will explode if you kill them 
like any Zed, and if they get too close to you, you can take a lot of damage from it. And in an enclosed map like Catacombs, this is going to be absolute hell. But if you're in an open map like Elysium, for example, it's going to be pretty easy depending on which area you get teleported to. But yeah, any type of Zed is annoying, especially Clarts. Like if they get close to you and you shoot them with this modifier, you're going to explode, hurt you. Poundanonium, I mean... <sighs> I'm going to say it's in between the top and second top tier. I'd say it's more like at the very top of this tier here. Because it really depends what perk you're using. If you're using Gunslinger, it's going to be an easy time with Rack em Up. But if you're using something like Commando or Medic, for example, which doesn't particularly have very strong Flesh Pound killing weapons, then it can be a pain in the ass. But any perk really works. Any perk can kill a Flesh Pound, but some of them do it better than others, like um, the Gunslinger. But yeah, this one is kind of annoying because they do spam a lot of Flesh Pounds at you and also a lot of Quarter Pounds. And if you're not ready for it, you will die. <laughs> Another particularly tough one is the Shrunken Zeds one. I, this one can be a bit difficult because if you're a precision perk like Sharpshooter, then it can be annoying to try and it look downwards and aim. Like the more you shoot at Zed, the faster it'll shrink down, which makes it really annoying to try and kill them. Because normally, like you can kill a Zed and it'll stay the same, but with this, it just shrinks smaller and smaller, so it makes it harder to aim at them. And last but not least, we have Up, Up and Decay. I don't know why this is even a modifier. It's I don't really find anything challenging about it. Well, to be fair, I, I could complete this blindfolded. Zeds are so much weaker with this modifier, and as soon as you do kill them, they just fly up into the sky and die. It's weird. I don't really find anything challenging about it, which again, I don't know why it's even a modifier in the first place. But uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join Discord if you're new, follow me on the socials, and I'll see you in the next video.